Well, new numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have ranked Ohio number four in the nation when it comes to death by overdose. A crucial part of recovery for those who have almost added to that number is learning how to deal with cravings and urges. Tonight, 10 TV's Bryant Somerville has a story of a recovering addict and why health professionals say long-term medication might be needed. Almost five years ago, she asked herself a question, a simple question. In the back of a Newark ambulance, high on heroin, she tried to answer, what do I want? At the time, it was to get clean. Almost five years later. A lot of relapses, they say that's a part of recovery. I thought it was bull crap at first, but now that I've came so far along, this is the longest I've been clean, 19 months. Krista Jolin struggles, yet celebrates. Now 19 months clean. I'm actually really proud of myself. I've came such a long, long way. She's 29. Before getting clean, she had used off and on since she was 15. For the last five years, she's been on Suboxone and that. Like I'm stuck, I switched one drug from another. Not going as well as she'd like. After five years, you just kind of get sick of it. She feels after five years, she should be at the point of getting off Suboxone, even feeling the pressure from family and her sponsor. Unless until we really understand the true nature of the disease, that's where a lot of confusion comes. Dr. Vin Shukla is not Krista's doctor, but he is an addiction medicine specialist. He says the active ingredient in Suboxone is buprenorphine, a partial opioid that is a long-acting medicine that binds to the same receptors as when someone uses, just without the euphoric sensation. Also in the medicine, naloxone, to prevent the misuse of buprenorphine. When it comes to using this medicine, each person is different. We have to tailor the treatment based on the severity of the disease. Medicine is simply a tool to help address that disease process. He's also quick to point out Suboxone is to addiction what medicine is to heart disease or what insulin is to diabetes. He says Suboxone essentially is to allow an addict to lead a productive, healthy life while also bringing in other changes like to your diet or behavior. And depending on the addict, it could be something you always take for that reason. You were being so successful in treatment, the recipe, the ingredients that you had in treatment. Here's the medicine, here's the behavioral component, and everything else that it was keeping your disease in check. You remove those ingredients. Yes, the disease will flare up. I may not be able to live without something. Is that possible? That's, that could be possible, yeah. She's come a long way since the back of that ambulance. She's not where she wants to be, but she is getting there. As long as she keeps asking that same question and with it. What do you want, basically? What do you want? Do you want to be like this for the rest of your life or do you not? An answer. And I didn't want to be. In Newark, Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News. Now you can find the rest of Krista's story along with this story on our website, 10tv.com.